everyone and welcome back to a writing guide. Launched in 1980 with solely 9 household and 31 food products, Muji has fought its way into becoming one of the top choices of Japanese people when it comes to quality items with no branding whatsoever. Of course, the only fountain pen that they are currently offering should be in the same spirit of the company as well, or is it? The fountain pen comes in a plastic wrapper with a minimum amount of words and instructions printed on the front and the back. There's pretty much a straightforward design with this one. A snap cap that could be set behind the end of the pen as there is a small circle cut out for that very purpose. Both with and without the cap it is pretty light in the hand without being back heavy and it also helps that the section is knurled so your fingers could have a good grip over the pen. The nib is a number 5 size made by Schmidt, a German nib manufacturer that also make nibs unit for Twisby, Noodlers, and Franklin Christoph. It wrote right out the bag and the experience is really similar to the usual European style of nib tuning, smooth and firm with a moderate amount of inflow. Some might say it's meh, but given the target audience of this fountain pen, I have no real complaint about the performance of the pen. However, after the initial $15 you paid for the pen, please consider getting some more cartridges, converters, and ink because they give you one cartridge that comes inside the barrel. All of that should not be more than 50 US dollars and it's a really good start for anyone who would like to dip their toes into fountain pens as well as those who like to add a pen with a minimal aesthetics that can be a daily writer. That being said, the pen also comes with a few drawbacks. The barrel wall is very thin compared to other aluminium pens so the risk of getting dings and bends is there. The inner threading of the barrel is quite sharp, thus the squeaky noise from screwing down the pen may cause a bit of discomfort, but after a few weeks of use, it should be fine, or some silicone grease on the thread should alleviate the issue. Overall, I would gladly recommend this pen to anyone, and it would make a good daily carry as well as a backup pen in your bag, while also being reasonably priced for the modern users. If you would like to go for a more mid-century minimal design, perhaps the review of the vintage Parker 51 below might give you some big ideas. If you enjoy the content, please head over to the Instagram or check out awritingguide.com for the written reviews. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.